Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Unpacking. This game came out last year, it's an indie title, I think it was published through Humble, yeah. Uh, and I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, I do know it was very well received, I believe it, I've seen it on a couple of Game of the Year nomination thingies. Uh, I think it's sort of like a puzzle game where like you're trying to figure out where you want to put stuff as you unpack this person's possessions and maybe as you do that, you like learn about the person whose stuff you're unpacking, something like that. Uh, I haven't played it though, and I haven't really read a lot about it, so this is this is more or less a brand new experience. So let's dive in and have a look. Uh, yeah, I'm Danielle. <laughs> Humble Games. Which me? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Unpacking. Oh, it's the, the logo that was on the title screen. Oh, it did come out 2022. Maybe just the Switch version came out this year? I'm pretty sure it came out on other platforms earlier. Yeah, you can see it's the same graphic from there. Yeah, cool. Settings? Uh, there's a number of languages available. Audio settings, you can mess with the volume, controls, uh, you can rebind them apparently. Uh, that looks fairly flexible if you wanted to play the game a bit differently. Accessibility, uh, you can adjust the size of things, make the rooms. I guess it's like a default animation maybe is a bit uh, photosensitive or something. Invalid item highlight, you can change that colour, so if you're colourblind or something. No, I won't turn that on. Allow items anywhere, so normally I assume you can only put items places that make quote-unquote sense. Uh, but you can switch that off and be able to put stuff anywhere if you want to focus on the story, I assume? I'm guessing that's the idea. I didn't have a look. Um... Oh, I see. This book belongs to... Oh, I'm putting in a name? Uh, I assume I put in my name? I, I don't know if the person I'm naming right now like has an assigned gender or anything, so I'm gonna hope they don't. Nineteen ninety seven. Okay, I can pan up and down with the right stick. Uh, I can move this little cursor around with the left stick. I can zoom in and out by pressing up and down on the D-pad. Uh, I can press plus to get this little checklist of options. I assume if I press A? Yeah, I can unfold these boxes and see what's inside. Uh, I got a soccer ball. You go over there. Uh, here's a backpack. I think backpacks make sense to go on the floor. Oh, I got a soccer trophy as well. Here's my soccer ball. Uh, oh, I can press B to rotate things around, I think. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, I think I would like this to be... Can I pick stuff up again? I can, yes. I imagine this, is, this would be playable with the touch screen. I might try that in a moment. Because it looks like the sort of game where that would make sense. Uh, it looks like a diary or something. Might put it up on... Right under the pillow? I can! Oh, nice. I like that. Uh, what have we got here? Like crayons? I think over there. Uh, like a sketchbook? Like a painting? Oh, it's a little painting of a horse! Oh. <laughs> we can go up there. A little piggy bank. Oh, it's adorable. Uh, piggy bank, you can go over here. Uh, there's that red book that I put my name on. Put it on the shelf like this. Uh, I think that game is called Simon or something like that. Uh, I've got a dreidel. I, I don't know if I'm Jewish or if I just like dreidels, but either way. And there's a Rubik's Cube. Uh, there's a trash can. Trash can can go over here. Uh, a chess set. Uh, 
procedure. I think, I think that game is often called Operation. <laughs> so it's kind of cute that they came up with another name for it there. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, another book. Well, I can go with my first book. Okay. A uh, little set of scissors. Go. An eraser. Oh! Like a dragon? Oh yeah, dragon plushie. Oh, that's so cool. Dragon plushie, you get a place of honor. <laughs> uh, is this like a poster? Yes! Oh, look at that. That's that's super cute. Another book. Uh, I'll sort them by size, I think. There we go. Um, hang on. I think those two are about the same size. It looks a little weird, though. I uh, got like a little Game Boy sort of thing. Oh, a kitty! Okay, yeah, you go on the bed. <laughs> Here's another book. Oh, is this like a... That's a camera, I think. Oh, I can press Y? Oh, I can now take pictures because I got the camera out. I see. Uh, little torch. Or, as Americans call it, a flashlight. Uh... Oh, look, it's a little bus. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, you can go... Can I rotate the camera around? It doesn't look like it. I can't look at it from, like, a different angle. Uh, we've got uh, some jump rope. Put in there. Doesn't look like it. Uh, can I open this cabinet? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna put this in here, I think. I'm liking this. It's very cute. I might put that over there, actually. Yeah, I might move some of this stuff over here just to be a bit tidier. Do you think to have the crayons over there? In in the drawer? Like, because you don't need all the colours of crayon all the time. Uh, and then... Will the ruler fit in front? Yeah. And I can just put that drawer in there. That goes over there. Scissors. There, there we go. And I might move the trophy over a bit, put the ball a bit closer to the middle so it's less likely to just roll off. There we go. I've <laughs> uh, got another book. Get too much stuff in there because of the torch. I, just, yeah, I can just pop it in here. Oop. Oh, a little froggy! Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, hang on, yeah, get that book off the floor. You get in there with the other books. A little pony! Oh, oh yes! Look at that little pony. Uh, you get to go all the way up here. For extra cuddles. Um, we've got like a little super superhero figurine. Uh, put you on the windowsill. Uh, and like a sort of... Like a goblin sort of thing? A troll that the superhero fights, I'm guessing? Oh, another pony! Yep, let's go, let's go. Time for ponies. Uh, and then we got... Oh, that's the, um... The other style of troll. The ones that were in that DreamWorks movie. There we go. Oh, you got all sorts of cute stuff. Check this out. Uh, that's like a... Like a little pedometer thing, like a... Pocket Pikachu is what the one I have, what the one I have was called. That's cute. Uh, duck with sunglasses, let's do this. Uh, I feel like it's probably getting tricky to sleep on this bed with so many plushies, but that doesn't mean I'm going to have fewer plushies up there. <laughs> oh, and there's a picture of the piggy as well. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, back there? It? Hmm. Ah, and a boombox. Boombox goes there. Uh, oh no, the tapes for the room box. Uh, let's put the tapes in the cupboard here. A book. Another book. I think we're running out of room on that shelf. Yeah, that shelf is full. Put it somewhere else. Uh, down here, maybe? Uh... Can I put the books upright in here, or do they only lie down? I thought they only lie down in there, which is a bit strange. Okay, that is the last thing, so maybe I can rearrange some stuff. What? 
Put it on top of there? No. One of these. Looks like there'd be room on top of procedure to put some of this stuff, but I guess not. Okay, why are my ponies flashing red? Does that mean, like, they're in the wrong spot or something? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Am I not allowed to have the ponies on the bed? That's where I want them. <laughs> I have to put them down here? I guess I do. I, I don't know why they couldn't just be on the bed. Finally, my own room. Oh, I see. It's my photo album. If I go to the next one, I can rearrange another room, I guess. In 2004? Okay, I've got a very 2004 computer monitor here. Let's get that out of the way first. Uh, before we go too far ahead, I think I want to see how this game works with a touchscreen. Uh, so I'm just going to toggle this over to the, to the big webcam view. Oop. Uh, okay, so here's the game. Uh, it does in fact work with a touch screen. You can drag stuff around. I'm not showing it very well. Uh, but yeah, it, it is responding to the touch screen. The little buttons in the corner, you can tap on them. I, I imagine it would just be pretty straightforward. You just tap stuff on the screen and it'll do what you want. Okay, and a little icon appears next to things to let you rotate them. Uh, when you have nothing selected, you can move around just by dragging on the... You know, hold it this way. You can drag around like... Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> it's very hard to do this. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you don't have an object selected at the moment... Let me put that back. Uh, you can drag on the... Back to bedroom, please. Uh, you can drag just on the the like surface, whatever. And I'm guessing, yeah, you can pinch zoom. So it's like it functions more or less as you'd expect it to work if it were like a mobile game or something. Uh, but you also have buttons, so you can use the buttons as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. I'm not gonna play it like this though because that's really hard to record and you can barely see what's happening. I'm gonna put it back on the dock and switch us back over. And I'm going to continue playing like this. <laughs> okay, so what, what is it I just got out? Uh, oops, I got something else. Uh, oh, it's like a... Was that, was that a poster? I think it's a poster. Yeah, it is. It's uh, for a band called Murmur. Yeah, let's put it up here because there's like, um, like a hook in the wall there. So we can cover it up with a poster. There we go. Okay, then we've got a book, a book here. Do we have room for... Do we have, no, do we have bookshelves? Up here will work. Uh, another book. Uh, what's that? Like a new set of paint? Oh, it, it's like coloured pencils. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's a kitchen. We've got a bathroom. We don't really have a good spot for like a work desk. Pop them in there for now, I guess. That. Oh, markers. That's, that's a set of markers. Uh, don't... Look, oh, I think it's about how to draw well. It's like got a picture of a pencil being held on the front, see? Interesting. What's this one about? Ghosts? <laughs> I guess. Uh, it looks like it, maybe, maybe our character is an artist? Uh, that looks like it's about dance. Interesting. That one's now empty, so we can get rid of it. Okay, here's our computer tower. It goes on the floor, of course. Where else would you put it? That means that box is now empty. Move that back a little bit. We're gonna need room for a mouse and keyboard. Oh, adorable! Oh, cute. Oh, Teddy! 
I mean, it's a piggy. Okay, the piggy obviously goes in the bed. Uh, so we've got a toothbrush that needs to go in the bathroom. Uh, just on the side there will do. Toothpaste. There we go. Oh, a little anatomy uh, posing model. So yeah, we're definitely like, uh, like a professional visual artist, or at least we're training to be one, which is cool. Uh, I'll put this over here on our work desk so that if we need to look at it, we can. Uh, got a different kind of boombox. I can't put it way up here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but I can put it here. And... Oh yeah, oh! Oh, that's cool. There's some physics here. This won't close if the drawer is open. See? I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, then we've got... Those are just like pants. Can we hang them up? But we have to leave them folded. There's a shoe. Shoes go in the bathroom. No, they don't. Uh, I'm just pressing. I'm trying to rotate it. Actually, I'm just pressing the wrong button. Uh, and that's like a CD collection. Uh, it can go up here with the boombox. Does it count as a boombox if it's that style, or is it something else? I think it's still battery powered, but it's a lot smaller and probably a lot quieter. Uh, this goes for the other shoe. Oh, boots. Got some nice big boots as well. Uh, we're gonna have room for them in there? Maybe. Oh, bra! Okay, so our character needs bras, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't really tell us that much, but g good for them. <laughs> There's another one in a different color. There's a black one. I keep accidentally pressing the shoulder buttons. Uh, L and R take you between the rooms, as do ZL and ZL, but I expect that to rotate. But it's actually the B button to rotate. Uh, there's our little Game Boy. Uh, put it over here on the shelf, I think. Oh, there's the kitty. You go over there. Uh, this book goes on the shelf with the other books. There's an eraser. Uh, what's this? Like a... It's like a briefcase or something? I don't know what's in it. Uh, I feel like over there is probably the right spot for it. Uh, I think that's like a sock? Or something? Maybe some underwear? I think these might be underwear, actually. Or purses? God, I don't know. Who folds their underwear? <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, I'm seeing the cute little bows, and I think it might be underwear for that reason, but it's all folded and neat. Uh, toaster, that goes in the kitchen. It goes over here. Oh, then some more of this. Maybe some of these are socks and some of them are underwear? I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe the ones that have the bows are underwear and the ones that have like the little fold over piece. Like I could see these two being underwear and these two being socks, if that makes sense. Also, I don't remember unpacking any of this when I was at the previous place. Did I not have clothes when I first moved out? <laughs> I may be thinking too much about this. <laughs> There's my old Rubik's Cube, and go over here with the Game Boy. Hey, a t-shirt. says dance. Up there. Uh, a little picture of a monkey. Adorable. Uh, you go over there. Is this a way to pick up multiple things at once? X doesn't seem to do anything, so... Maybe I unlock that later, or maybe you just don't get to pick up all the things at once, I don't know. Some pencils, they can go over here. Another book. Um, probably about there at the right spot. It looks a bit big, actually. Let me back. Uh, that's a mouse. I need that. 
and that over here for my computer. That's a mouse pad. I need to be underneath the mouse. <laughs> you get on there. There we go. And then you go there. Okay. Uh, there's my ruler. You might need that to make for my drawing practice. There we go. Uh, I think it's a diary? Yeah, like my 2004-2005 diary. I did have a diary under my pillow before. Let's put one there now. There we go. It might be a bit of a large diary to sleep on, so that might not be the best spot for it. <laughs> uh, about there. Uh, I'm guessing that's what I'm using for my classes. Like, I take this bag with me. So I want it to be somewhere easily accessible. Probably by the bed. That's like my, uh, my iPod or whatever. My MP3 player. Another shirt, but a bit classier. <laughs> Another shirt. Do I have more coat hangers? Like, I've used up almost all of them already. Uh, some more pants. Will they fit in there, with, in the drawer with the other ones? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll rearrange some stuff. Maybe this, this can be an undergarments drawer. See how, how well will things fit in here. A little bit fiddly to play. Uh, it'd probably be a bit easier with a mouse. Uh, but I'm not complaining too much. I'm having a good time and that's all that really matters. Uh, that will not rotate. We can probably fit a little bit in here. That will not fit all the underwear because of the... Oh no, maybe put this one sideways? No. No, that won't fit. Oh, okay, pop that over there. I can fill in the gap with some of these. There we go. Yeah, that's probably the wrong spot for this stuff. <laughs> uh, let me see. Maybe that can be the bras drawer. Yeah, it looks like they fit quite nicely in there. Boop. Boop. And then socks along the end here. I think these are socks. There we go. Yeah, there's not enough room there for any more. So, yeah, you can just stay over there. I would like to just put it on top of the computer case, but I don't think that's an option. Nor is on top of the monitor, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna leave it over there for now. Uh, let's see, we've got a little piggy bank. On the windowsill, there we go. Another shirt. Let's see with the other shirts. Oh, another one of these cute little figurines. They're adorable. More pants. Go in the pants pile. There's my soccer ball. I guess it's like a nostalgia thing at this point. I don't know. I don't know if I'm still playing soccer. Actually, it looks a bit more worn. Like, if you look at it now, it's, it's got, like, a bit more, like, dark spots. That's really cool. Uh, I'll put this on a separate shelf. Okay, yeah, there's a fourth t-shirt, and I certainly have the three, the three, um, hangers. Uh, this jacket really needs to hang up somewhere, but uh, I'm out of hangers. <laughs> That's like a little alarm clock thingy. Yeah. That looks like pajamas almost. Maybe it should go into the pillow. And there's my little bus. Cute. I've got an Eiffel Tower to go with it now. That's adorable. <laughs> Another button-up shirt. I think the button-up one really ought to go on a hanger. So I might move some of this stuff around. And this frilly one would be better on a hanger as well. There we go. Probably better for it. What's this? Those, like, drawstring pants or something? I think it's something like that. Maybe they, maybe they go with the... Uh... Yeah, I think that works. Oh, and then this is another set. Those go together. 
Okay. Uh, some more socks. I'll bring socks in here. I was actually putting them in the one below, but it's full, so here yeah, we'll have to do. A bit more underwear. Possibly little purses. It looks like a purse to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, we've got a toilet roll. Uh, is it normal to bring a toilet roll with you when you move? I, I, I would have thought, you know, you would probably buy more toilet rolls when you get there. But, I don't know, it depends on how you handle things, I guess. Another t-shirt, they can go there. Some more jeans, can go in the, the massive pile of jeans. And that box is empty. Uh, can I go in there? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I can go there, though, which is probably fine. Okay, let me see here. It's still a bit messier than I would like. Can you go in there? Yes! Yeah, you go in there. There we go. Um, this can go in the drawer over here. Model, I'll move you back a bit so the mouse can be a little further. I haven't seen a keyboard yet. I guess it's in one of the other rooms. But, like, it needs to needs to go with the mouse, right? <laughs> can I stack the markers on top of this other stuff? Doesn't look like it. Kind of weird. There we go, that'll do. Okay, um... This room looks alright at the moment. Let's hop over to the bathroom. Another box to unpack in here. That's a towel. So it goes in the towel rack. That's a soap. Uh, it might go over there, or it might go over here. A uh, little cup. Uh, it's like a deodorant or something? I think that's like a perfume, maybe? Got a hairbrush. Not really a lot of, not really a lot of room here for all this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's shampoo, that needs to go over here. Little medical, medical emergency kit. There's a bra in here? Uh, where are my bras? They're in there. There's really not a room in here for bras. Just... Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... Oh, tampons. I don't know if that means I'm playing as a cis person, or if I just have tampons in case someone needs them. <laughs> it's like, we have we have tampons in our house that's like exclusively trans women, and we have them for like nosebleeds and stuff. Because that's a thing they're good at. Oh, it was an extra toilet roll. Okay, so one goes there, one goes there. Alright. Oh, several toilet rolls. Okay. Let's make a tower of toilet rolls, then. Uh, hang on. Hang on. This one's bigger. This little one's like a face towel or something? Can I hang it up over here somewhere? Hmm. I don't want it on the toilet, that doesn't seem sanitary, but maybe there's another spot I can use? I just haven't spotted yet. Uh... That. Oh, pads. Uh, and that's a little sanitary products disposal bin. There. Uh, that does not belong in here. That belongs in here somewhere. Probably not on the stove all the time. Uh, but... Eh, we can leave it there for the moment. Probably fine. Okay, so there's a little bit of a... Couple of mistakes made here, I suppose, would be a good way of putting it. Uh, what if we hang this one on this book? Hang on, wait. Okay, no, that, was, that wasn't an option. It just looked like I could put stuff there because it was... Can I put it on the, this on the other side of the toilet? Is there room? I can't really tell. Doesn't look like it. I'll just put this at the back. 
Okay. Then this little little disposal thing goes there. Again, like I haven't moved very much in my life. I would have thought something like this would be considered like an appliance almost as part of the house. Uh, it just seems a little weird to have to bring it with you. Uh, hairbrush doesn't go over there. Oops. No, no, that stays in here. Yeah. I'm putting conditioner and then the little soap. I think that's perfume and this one's like deodorant. Uh, and then the hairbrush can go up there. There we go. I'm not sure what to do with this bra though. <laughs> Leave that one on the bed. That's the one we've been using. We can keep it out and use it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Eh, that's alright. Uh, let's see. We got a little mug. Another little mug. I guess we'll have several mugs. Uh, start putting them up here. Uh, there's like a little teacup as well. Uh, they might need to be separate. They're a little bit different. Is that like sugar? Yeah, that's that's a little thing of sugar. Uh, put it over there. Oh, a cookie jar. Oh, that's cute. Cookie jar can go over here. Uh, we got plates. Hmm. Assume we'll have more than one plate. A bowl. Another bowl. Can I stack the bowls? Yes, good. And a plate of a different variety. Both can't go on top of the plate, which is kind of strange. Okay. Uh, sugar, let's put it over there. Let me put this little cup with the other cups. I guess we'll see, like, what specifically is in these boxes and get an idea of where stuff should go. Uh, that's like a dishcloth. Is there a place I can hang it? There's a hook there. There it is. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Some forks and stuff? Uh, we go in here. Oh, I see forks. Knives. Uh, I assume what I'm holding now is like spoons. Yeah. Oh, another dishcloth. Uh, I can go down there. Uh, soap. And detergent. Uh, bug stuff. Go down here. Oh, a little sandwich press. We got one of those. That's cute. A uh, little sandwich press. Um, you can live down the bottom here. To be retrieved when someone wishes to press a sandwich. Uh, I've got a cutting board. Hmm. A second drawer here. What's in there? It's, it's a regular drawer. Hmm. And the dishwasher? Oh, it's a fridge, actually. Not a dishwasher. Uh, we've got a big pot here. That's like cooking oil. Could go probably in one of these shelves. Uh, that's cling wrap. Ah. Oh, that's little sponges for the for washing up. Put them in there. Uh. Okay, not super enthused with the current arrangement. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, you get out of there. You get out of there. Saucepans in here? And yeah. mm, then there isn't room for this one. Seems like this really big one would be used less often. If I can fit it in there and get it out of the way, that would be nice. But, oh yeah, it does just about fit. Kind of, more or less by itself, I think. Oh no, I can put something else in there too. Cool.
Oh, I can put stuff up there as well. Hmm. I've got some options. Oh, my keyboard! There it is! I'm wondering where that was. <laughs> uh, is that the right way around? Yes, that looks right. There's a plate. I like how it plays appropriate sound effects when you put stuff together. It's very cute. Whoa, that's a knife. Uh, you are gonna go... whoops. In there. You got a wooden spoon. Then the can opener. Another sponge. That's the one that's being used, I assume, so it stays out. Uh, we got our kettle, so we can make coffee and tea. I don't know if uh, this character is more a coffee person or a tea person. He has a boot. <laughs> will it go in there? Uh, I don't think it will, actually. I don't think there's enough room. Um, like here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these shoes over here under the assumption that these are the ones... Uh, that Danielle, who is our character, who is me, I guess, wears daily, and these ones uh, go into there as, like, emergency shoes when you need them, sort of thing. What is that? I think it's like a potato peeler? Like a weirdly shaped one? I, I have not seen one with that shape before. I can go in there, I guess. Um, we got another little mug. We got another glass. Got a small plate. Small plates do not fit there. They can go over there, though. Got some salt to go with the sugar, but it's too tall, so it has to go down here. Uh, I think that's like instant coffee. So, I guess we're coffee people? <sighs> Do you like coffee? Uh, what's that? That's like paper towel? I think it's paper towel. We got a bunch of spoons. We already have a bunch of spoons, isn't that what this was? Oh, those are the little spoons, I see. And then this is the bigger spoons. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I see how it works now. Perspective is a little tricky sometimes, because everything is on weird shelves and stuff. Okay, uh, so now some things are flashing because they're not allowed to be where they are. Uh, apparently the bathroom is fine, which is interesting. Didn't make any mistakes in here. But over here we've got uh, a bunch of things. I guess the boombox can't be in the little cupboard there? Okay, that can be in there, but that can't. I guess that doesn't count as pajamas is the problem. Room together, is that is that allowed? Yeah, that is. Huh. Okay. Um, and then these shoes are not allowed to be in there. I guess because they might be a little dirty, but uh, no, they can't be on the floor either. Apparently. Where are they supposed to go? Look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of a slob, okay? I'm just gonna leave bras out in the bed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I'm more confused about these shoes, though. Like, isn't on the floor a place people often keep shoes? Can I go up there? No. I really want the clock to face me, but I don't think that's an option. I think it's got to face away from me. Because there isn't a graphic of it facing the other way. Um... Actually, will that fit in there? It will! Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, it wants the shoes to go up there, apparently. I guess I can do that. 
Um, I, I don't know what the problem with having bras out on the bed is, but go off, I guess. <laughs> There's something wrong in the kitchen, too. Uh, that's not allowed to be up there. And that's not allowed to be there? I understand this one, sort of, because it's like a weird place for it, but... It'll get dusty and stuff if it's not in a, if it's not in a drawer. But I, I don't understand why I can't have the kettle on the bench. Okay, the tea towel's allowed to be there where it's gonna get wet. I'm confused. Why do you want the kettle? Up there, apparently. Um... I mean, alright, but I, I think I would prefer it to where I can reach it. And I think having... Having your electric kettle sit, you know, on your counter is kind of normal. Oh, the paper towel can't be down there either? I don't understand this game. <laughs> I'm having a good time, but I don't understand its rules for things. Like here, I put the cookie jar so it's more or less blocking the uh, PowerPoint, so I can't plug like my toaster in, but that's okay. Confusing. <laughs> Classes start Monday. Uni, here I come. Cute. I'll do one more and then I think that's probably the game for, for now. 2007. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, am I super cool now? Oh my gosh, and I've got... I, I don't know what console that's supposed to be. Uh, maybe a PlayStation, but... The colored buttons don't look quite right. Um, maybe. No, that those aren't the right colors for a PlayStation. I'm not sure what console that's supposed to be. <laughs> I've got a carpet over there. I've got some more games over there. Uh, I can have a, I have an X button now. Oh, so I can navigate all my rooms more easily. Hey. Let me see. I got a book. Oh, this little figurine's come with me everywhere. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, this one's my bedroom, I think. Is this all just the three rooms? Oh no, there's a bathroom. Uh, kitchen. There's like two living rooms. There's a bunch of rooms now. Alright. Uh, looks like the windowsills here aren't big enough to put things on, so I'm going to need to put my little figurine somewhere else. I think she's probably an important part of my life, so I'm going to put her there. Uh... This not stand up as a book? It looks like a book, but it wants to lie flat for some reason. Uh, there's a shirt. I don't know if people will mind if I hang my stuff up in the shared room, because I assume this is a communal space. Uh, that's my cook pot. I guess I brought it with no previous house. Uh, definitely a lot more room for stuff in this house than there used to be. <laughs> uh, another game that can go with the other games. Rascal. That's a neat name. 
Oh, that's so cute! Look at that! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, got another game controller, but it looks like it's a different style to those. It might not work with the same console. So, I might... I'll pop it down there anyway. Oh yeah, look, I've got like a gamecube -y sort of thing. Only it's like bigger than a GameCube would have been. And I've got another controller. I think that's just a book again. There we go. Oh, I think these might be my games, actually. They're making like a plasticky kind of noise. Yeah, they can go over there with the other games. Uh, that's like a big blanket. Down on the floor in there, in case I need a big blanket. Okay. It looks like other people's stuff is just little all over the main, like, shared area anyway, so they probably won't mind too much if my stuff is here too. Come to think of it, this super cool costume probably belongs to one of my roommates, given that I'm still unpacking my stuff. That's a shame. Let's have cool roommates. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, it's my little little kitty. Gotta keep my kitty. Kitty goes on to bed. Oh, I got a little chicken now. Where my little chicken came from? That's new. Oh, a little little, little chicken. Oh, baby. That's cute. Since they seem to be plushies, they're probably allowed to be on my bed, so that's probably fine. You can go there so I can use you for drawing practice. Uh, and... Yeah, you can go up on the wall. Uh, up there is fine. Yeah, it looks like the people who... Like my roommates aren't very tidy people. <laughs> So they probably won't be too bothered by my stuff also being here. Uh, what else we got? Some more books. Looks like that's like a comic series or something. You can see like two and three. This little... Like a little, uh... Bard figurine or something for like playing D and D, like a role playing game. Uh, that's another sketchbook by the looks of things. Got a picture. There's my little Eiffel Tower and my little little bus. Goes with it. Oh, oh, and now I have an Eiffel Tower as well. Wait, no, that's the Lean Tower of Pisa. This one's the Eiffel Tower. Ah, <laughs> oh, took me a second there. Okay. Uh, got a little book. There you go. Another book. How tall is this one? Uh, about there? Yeah, it looks about right. Okay. Toothbrush. You can go in the toothbrush cup. I don't really love putting my toothbrush in the toothbrush cup. Uh, just because if water gets in the toothbrush cup, then it gets gross. Uh, I'll get a little razor now. Can it go in here? There we go. Black. A little nail clipper thingy. I'm guessing one of these drawers probably belongs to me. I'm guessing the middle one, because it's empty. This seems to be a house I'm sharing. Yeah, I can really leave the toothpaste out. It's not gonna bother anyone. Toothpaste is kind of communal. My hairbrush I might put in here. Like a little, like, makeup bag or something. 
Uh, might leave that in my room, actually. <laughs> Not sure where, though. <laughs> Up there for now. See how that goes. Uh, what is that? Some sort of medicine? A little deodorant. A little perfume. Oh, a scrubbing brush. Yeah, I'll hang that up in there. Uh, shampoo and conditioner go in the normal place. Uh, I've got something new to go with the shampoo and conditioner. Don't really know what that is. A uh, nice bag of pads. They can go in there. Tampons. And some sort of spray? Not sure what that is. Actually, there's already a bag of pads there, so I could put mine with it. Like that. See, I got my favourite little mug. I remember seeing that in the previous one. Uh, detail goes there. Another mug. Another tea towel. Is there another place to hang them? Or hmm. uh, then my little can opener thing. Oh, there we go. Tea towels go in here. I can't put the other ones. There we go. My cookie jar. Oh, cool. We got a slow cooker. That's neat. Uh, my little sugar bowl thingy. Go over there with the other sauces and spices and stuff. Actually, this, this sugar maybe goes over here with the other sugar, and then the cooking oil can go over there with the spices. Yeah, I think that's soy sauce. I think that makes sense. Uh, this big old knife. Um, can go... Probably there's a good safe spot for it. What is this? What am I looking at? Like it's a really tiny little thing. What is that? <laughs> I guess I'll put it out and I'll find out what it is when it complains about it. Oh, are these fridge magnets? I bet, I bet these are fridge magnets. Hang on. Oh, it makes more sense now. Yeah, it's a little koala. Oh, that's cute. Uh, and star. And someone else put a strawberry here, so we have some fans of Celeste in this house. Oh, and a little heart. Okay, uh, let me see. Star, heart. Uh, there's no horseshoe. Uh, I guess the koala can be a horseshoe. There we go. Got a plate. Mm -hmm. Go with the other plates. A bowl, can go with the other bowls. Plate, goes with the other plates. Yeah, definitely I think this would be quite playable with a mouse, but I'm having a good time playing it with what I've got, so I wouldn't say that's a, necess that's a necessity or anything. It's not like it's a fast-paced game or anything. You're not going to have trouble because of the use of a mouse. Can I open the fridge? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I guess I'll put that up there. So it looks like a water bottle, which I feel like it should probably go in the fridge, but I can't put it there, so I won't. Uh, yeah, you can go in there. Uh, that's a towel. Let's probably go in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, there's another hook. There we go. My little slow cooker. Not slow cooker. Sandwich press. That thing's a slow cooker. Uh, bug spray. The same can of bug spray. I guess it's been lasting me all these years. Uh, there's another medical kit. Uh, last time I put it in the bathroom. That's not, not a wrong place for it, but there might be better places. I don't know. That'll do. Um, little scrubby brush thingies. Go down there. Spatula. Wooden spoon. Scrubbing board. Um, 
Oh, there's another chopping board. We can go on top of that one. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, the bedroom. This has the most boxes. Uh, it's like a little note or something? I think that's what I've been sketching, like, recently or something like that. Um, a coloured pencil set. And my markers. And my other markers. And my other markers. And an eraser. Paint brushes and stuff. Uh, what's that? Like a page a day calendar or something? That's what it looks like to me, anyway. You can see this computer monitor here, but it's like a modern sort of one, so it'll be a bit easier to squeeze in. Here's my little clock. Uh, right up there where I can see it. What's this thing? That's like another thing I've, I've been working on, I assume? I'm guessing? Well, I can stack them up, whatever they are. Maybe they're postcards? Hey, another coat hanger. Neat. I have gone a bit overboard with stacking all these books. <laughs> oh cool, I got my game system changed out. Instead of a regular Game Boy, it looks like a Game Boy Advance now. Uh, oh, and those are my cartridges. Little Game Boy Advance cartridges, yeah. Cool. A book. What was that one called? Hype. I'm not sure if that's like typography or if it's like, uh, like t learning to type type stuff. Oh, cool. Look, a D20. Or it looks like a D20 anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's to use with my D&D game along with this little bard. Cute. Uh, a drawing tablet. Always good to have. Uh, leave it on my chair for the time being. There's my mouse pad. Uh, see, can I... Yeah, I can stack all of those up. Uh, put up there. Here's my mouse. The mouse pad. The keyboard. It's the same keyboard, that hasn't changed. And that's my current journal. Cool. I think I may have too much junk all over the place. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, we need room for the mouse is the thing. You can go up there. There we go. Uh, there's a hat. I'm not sure how tall that space is, is the thing. Um, I think if I just get the black ones and put them separate, maybe? Because there seem to be a number of those that look all the same, and they're probably supposed to be like a separate set. And then there's these ones that all look the same as well. There we go. That looks a lot better. Then the current one. Oh, end here. That's an improvement. Oh, hang on, is that a calendar? No. <laughs> the cover looks like a calendar, see? But it's not one. Uh, you got socks. Go in here. Uh, that's my photo album. That's very important. 
Put it up there. The one I keep taking pictures of each place with. Uh, underwear. There's a bra. There's a shoe. There's one of those boots. There's another kind of shoe. There's a shoe that goes with that other shoe. <laughs> There's a shoe that goes with the other other shoe. <laughs> uh, another boot. If we move these across a bit, I think there'll be enough room for all the shoes in here. Unless I have more types of shoes, which is entirely possible. Uh, you just, uh, you, you just stay put for the time being, just a second. Oh, another coat hanger. You go over there. It is a little fiddly, mostly because you can't change the camera angle. Uh, I understand why you can't, because that would be extremely difficult to implement in this kind of game, but... It would be, it would have been nice. Uh, uh, let's unfold this poster up here. Seems like that's quite important to me because I keep bringing it with me. Pants! Uh, let's leave them folded and put them there. Skirt! A shirt! <laughs> Another shirt. Jacket sort of thing. You over there. It's a little annoying that you can't hold like one thing in each hand while you're moving stuff around. I understand why you can't because the interface would be way more confusing, but it does make it a little tricky. Oh, a frisbee. That's fun. Uh, what's this thing? Oh, it's a shoe. Uh, more shoes. I think it's a shoe. Is it a shoe? Maybe it's like a ballet slipper sort of thing? I remember I was looking at dance books. Is that where that came from? The bra. Be friends with the other bra. The bra. My socks. Uh, that's my backpack, uh, my satchel that I've been carrying around for the past couple of years. It's like an, a work apron or something? I think that's like an apron I've been wearing for work. That's what it looks like anyway. What's this thing? Is this like a rug? Oh, I think it's a yoga mat. I think. Uh, and those are pajamas, I'm pretty sure. Down there. Uh, those don't match, so I might leave these over here for now. See if I can get them to match up. Uh, this goes in here. But why am I the only one in the house who needs this? Am I hanging out with a bunch of trans girls? Is that what's happening? Because <laughs> that would slap. <laughs> uh, a little a little weight. The like lifting and stuff. A little weight also for lifting and stuff. Oh, there's my piggy. Wondering when that would show up. Oh, oh, I got a. a Certificate of something. I guess I did a good thing. I love how my clock still isn't set. <laughs> like, I've, I've moved places, and I still haven't managed to set my clock. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go in there for now. Um... I know I was trying to put socks and stuff in the other drawer, but that one is getting pretty full. So, a little bit of spreading things out may be appropriate. 
Oh, this thing. I'm not really sure what that's for, but there it is. Another skirt. That's my computer. I'm wondering where that, where that got to. Uh, I probably want the computer to be in this slot here, so I'll just move some stuff around. Oh, wow. There's lots of things I did wrong, apparently. <laughs> uh, I can't have those books there, which is kind of strange. I also can't have this book there. Um, I kind of wish it would tell you why you can't have things where you put them. Just to give you a little bit more clarity about what's going on. Some of them I understand, like, you, you don't want your drawing tablet on your chair, you want it somewhere that you can use it. And not, you know, sit on it and ruin it. Uh, but some of it uh, is just confusing to me. <laughs> uh, did I put anything in this drawer? I did, I put some stuff in that drawer. Well, let's check some of the other rooms first and make sure I didn't make any mistakes there. I guess I didn't. Actually, if I check here, yeah, it's just the bedroom that has mistakes. Or things that aren't allowed to be where they are in any case. Okay, I get that these shirts probably want to, want to be hung up rather than put on the floor, but... I'm not sure about the blanket. Like, isn't it okay to put a blanket like that? Or do I need to put it on the bed? I guess I do. Just be happy with it being there. Um... Okay, it's just because they were on the floor and it didn't like that by the looks of things. Okay, um... These little shoes can go on this side? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what this thing is, but if it's in here, that's fine. Okay. And the weights are allowed to go in here, apparently. So, I guess that'll do. Not sure where it wants me to put this journal. Well, I can't have these books here, I can say that much. Uh, yeah, a multi-grab button of some kind would be would be good. <laughs> Actually, it's only got a problem with some of them. Say the little books are allowed. Interesting. Figurine, you can go up there. The ND stuff can go over there. You can go back there. I'm gonna stack these up so I can grab them all in one go. It'll let me. Maybe that's the maximum height? No, nope, I just had them in the wrong order. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, those are all stacked up. They're in the wrong spot, but I'll get to them in a moment. I didn't end up finding the pajamas that match, which is interesting. Okay, so these books, where do they need to go? There we go. <laughs> Let everyone else deal with them. <laughs> uh, maybe they go maybe up here is a fine place for them? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Let's get shelving. Uh, with the exception of this one, which will not go there. I've got to figure out where to put it. Okay, it's allowed to go in there. Is it... Is it a gaming book? <laughs> oh, I just realised you can't see. Uh, when I finish a room, uh, this little star appears, and I can click on the star to go ahead. Uh, that's like the only thing that my face has been covering. But like, when I've when I've placed everything correctly, that little, little symbol comes up. And I can go, boop. Boop. 
cute little D20 goes into my photo album. Way bigger than my last kitchen. Oh, that's cute. If I press B... Oh, are these save files? Yeah, okay. I've got a red save file, a blue save file, a green save file. Okay. If I press B again... Back to the title screen. So album select is like file select. Okay, and then there's stickers. Oh, I see. I assume if I make, if I do some, if I arrange things differently, I get different stickers. So it's an incentive to replay or something like that. Interesting. Okay, well, it's been about an hour, so I'm going to call that a video. This has been Unpacking, a game... It, it's essentially a little puzzle game where you're trying to arrange things the right way. I do wish it was a little clearer about why something is in the wrong place. Um, but some of those things, I can understand, you know, you probably don't want... Uh, you probably don't want your uh, liftable weights to be out on the floor where someone could just stub their toe on them and have a horrible time. <laughs> uh, but other things like, I don't really understand why a bunch of books can't be shelved on a shelf on your desk. Like, I, I have done that in my life before and it was fine. <laughs> um... Maybe if you, like, ho hovered over something that's got the little red outline, it could say, like, have a little pop-up saying, hey, this is why this can't go here. That would be quite helpful. Then again, I suppose it's part of the puzzle that you have to experiment in order to figure out where things go, so... Mm. And considering only a few things have been read each in each room I've gone through, I think it's probably okay, but... I don't know, I'm a little... Uh... <sighs> it's complicated. I like this game though, uh, I'm really enjoying it. I don't know how long it is, um... Let's see. In 97, 2004, that's... Okay, yeah, these, these ones are quite far apart, but then these ones are a lot closer together. So, I can't really estimate how long it'll be based on that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I am I am enjoying it a lot, and I think this game is charming. The music is gorgeous. Um, it's got exactly the right feel for how, like, chill this game is, how you're just fearfully unpacking all your bits and pieces. I'm curious to find out more about I guess Danielle. I guess my character's name is Danielle. <laughs> um, I do have a criticism that Danielle definitely seems to be a person who needs to wear bras and uh, use tampons and things. Um, and I didn't select the gender or anything, but I have given this person the name Danielle because it's on the album that I selected. So it would have been nice to have some sort of indication of whose name you're choosing uh, when you select an album at the beginning. Uh, unless the implication is just that it's the name of the file and that doesn't actually impact on the name of the character, but it seems like it's the character's photo album, so it does seem like you are choosing that character's name. So... I don't know, I don't know. Um, and I understand discovering who this person is is like the idea of the game, that you figure out who I guess Danielle is as you play the game and try all the different and like go through the different stages of of her life and what things she brings along and what things she doesn't. Um, but like if you pick the name like Steve, it might be a bit odd. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, in any case, uh. I'm really enjoying this, and if this looks like something you'd enjoy, definitely check it out. Uh, it's available on like all the platforms, I'm pretty sure, so like if you wanted to play it with a mouse, I'm sure you can. Uh, it is completely playable with one of these, it's not like you have a, a big loss of precision like you would do with some other games. Uh, you can play this fine, it's just... Since it involves moving a cursor around, 
<sighs> if playing on a console for whatever reason is not uh, like a high priority for you, you may be better off playing it on. I think it's on Steam. It's you can probably buy it from Humble Bundle directly because it's a humble game. But yeah, that's unpacking. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>